Hi guys. Good morning. I've been up, made my bed, and I'm like back in my bed. It's just one of those mornings. Like I just, it's looking like cold. I don't want to get out of my bed. <laughs> I don't know what I'm wearing. I was replying to some uh, emails and some comments and stuff. So I did get some stuff done. I feel like I didn't do anything. Um, my eye looks red. So yeah, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear. Um, I did check a tracking, push my ear out, a tracking number on a package. <clears throat> Excuse me, on a package that I have coming. So it's super exciting. It should be here today. It wasn't supposed to be here until Wednesday. So that's awesome. I keep looking over here. I don't know why I'm so used to it. I have to look over here in my bed. So yeah, that'll be exciting. So I just want to get up, get dressed. I don't know what I'm going to wear. I think I'm just going to go basic. But what's new? I go basic every day. Like, why am I getting all dressed up? Just for what? Like, I, I'm not going anywhere today. I'm just going to film. So, don't get me wrong. I want to look cute for you guys. But, like, I'm not going full glam. Like, we're not doing a glam on a Monday. <laughs> no. Good morning, little one. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, you actually kept your cage pretty clean. Ow. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another vlog style video on my channel. So today, um, we got a couple things in. Um, it's way later than the day than um, my little lazy morning I had. Um, it's like early evening now the day just got so carried away from me but i did want to show you guys these um glasses that i just got from amazon They're like meat sunglasses i love meat sun i don't know it's just reading books um i just got them in so i haven't used them a lot but there's three different pairs you get one black so i'm just gonna put them back i have them in three different cases because I leave them in the house in three different areas that I'm like, that I film, or that I film, that I um, edit and stuff in. White. Well, clear, I should say. They're not white. Which I think is like my, actually, I don't know. I think these ones are my favorite, actually. So I leave one here in the studio area. I have one over in my editing area. And then I have one in my bedroom. And all they are is these anti-blue glasses i find my eyes lately have just been like hurting me so from all like the glare and that from my phone and my laptop so i thought that i would invest in these to see if that will help like just to kind of protect my eyes from now like just take a precaution i guess so and these ones are like the leopard so these ones are really cute too i want to turn around i like them yeah they're like 20 bucks so not bad for all three. Like I said, I like that I just put them in different parts of my in my area in the house. So that's really convenient. So I thought I would share that if you guys are having like if you notice when you're editing or just like on your phone or laptop or even like TV if you watch like a lot of TV or anything like that. Um, if you find your eyes are just kind of getting like tired and just feeling a little ways, that's always a good precaution. Just so you don't run into eye problems down the road. It's just I don't know, me, I try to catch things before it happens. Like, you know what I mean? You get a tickle in your throat. Well, do all the stuff you would do if you were sick. That way you're kind of nipping it in the butt before you catch a cold, right? Like, whatever. And then it did come. So I was supposed to get this like two days from now, Wednesday, and it's Monday today. I hope I can get enough good stuff to put this up, but guys, I don't know. <laughs> Said I don't lead some crazy life. Um, but yeah, so the first time I ordered from Glitter Mix Canada, um, as of so far, I've just really ordered from like Ali, Shein, and Amazon. So now that I feel like I've got in a decent little collection of nail art and products and stuff, I want to venture out into different companies and support and just see what other companies are available and what I can get here where I am. Because trust, not everybody delivers to Canada and even in parts of Canada is still different, like Ontario and stuff. So is what it is um what is the nail queen studio i was really i was actually looking into somebody told me about their brands and um 
I was like, yeah, it's actually like right next door. Like it's so close to me. But I just found out, I was so excited because I was like, wow, they offer classes and they're like, I was really actually like kind of digging what they were offering. So, um, but I heard through the grapevine that they were actually like closing and moving locations. So I got a hold of them to see because I don't want to go and get a few of their products, like one, two of their products, and then I just can't find any more of them. And yeah, so somebody got back a hold of me and they are moving like the middle of February, February 15th, I think that they said. But the way that they replied was, um, yes, it's true. We're moving February 15th. Um, something be, like it'll be shutting down. So I don't know if she meant like the classes will be not available, if their website will be shut down. She didn't, or he, I don't know, really know who it was, didn't really reply within the best of way. Like it was just like, yes, it's tr yes, we're shutting down. Really, that's it. Not with, yes, we are. We plan to move it to a different location in the future. Just. They, they didn't give me anything so I was just like okay well that's your business but for now until I know like a little bit more about that I think I'll just keep my money in my pocket and um yeah I just think I'll just wait to see what's going on with that before I invest in them because I don't want to buy it like it and then can't get it anymore like I don't want to just have one or two things this is not the way I roll so I think I'm just gonna go with my first choice which was glitter bell so I think my next um, next company purchase is going to be with Glitter Bell. So the first one I did, sorry, there's a big ramble, but the first one I did, I'm just saying this for a reason because I find it's hard to find stuff in Canada that is like reasonably priced that you can get without having, I want to showcase stuff that you guys can, anybody can buy. And that's like how I feel I want to have more on my channel, not just, just cater to nail techs. I want it so any inspired nail artist or coming up can buy these things and that's what I want to do. The only thing is, like I said, I can only get stuff that's in Canada. I do have a loophole. I can still get stuff like from the States, so, like obviously get it delivered here, whatever, whatever, but that'll take a long time and that's still something in the future for him. So catch my breath. Glitter Mix Canada. So my first company, not company, because all these Sheen, all them are still brands or still companies, but my first like smaller nail art company, I guess I should say just my bill but it's, I just love the way that like they package stuff like that you don't get like you don't get that from Allie do you know what I'm saying I thought I had a package close I'm like you just get this so I can think it's so nice so nice but we're not gonna do that today guys we're going to do what I my plan was for today because I wasn't gonna get like I didn't know I was getting that I have an itch on my face Sorry, I didn't know I was getting that in today. I really thought that was going to come Wednesday. So my plan was if I get that Wednesday, I can probably do something with that on the weekend and then get it up for next Monday. That was like my plan but because it wasn't supposed to be here. And yeah, it's just the days that I can film. Like I have certain days that it's easy for me to film. There's other days that it's just, it just doesn't work as smoothly. So I still have other stuff to do in my day, right? So, and I like the house to be just quiet no one home just so I can just do my business so I'm going to kind of cover my address up I just got this sent to my my own address did I have I did have the PO box then but I figured if I'm ordering it off companies I'm just gonna send it to myself it's just easier so I didn't get much I only got one two three four seven items so not that much stuff but what is fun in there that I did get is I got one of the it's, it's called the glitter mystery box and I got the 33 so I got 33 random glitters so I have no clue what they are and I think that's like the fun part that I'm so excited about there was a couple glitters that like I really disliked and I kind of wanted like there was like four glitters that I'd wanted just to see but also I was like don't go too ham because they have some mystery ones that you can get like 60 glitters and I'm like oh god now where am I gonna put you so I just started with the 30 glitter or 33 glitters first so very exciting guys when we get to go into that I should probably put that in that um post that I did oh, I don't think of these things when I do it but yeah so 
what I'm gonna do right now and set up for is that I've been wanting to do the Swarovski crystal um, kind of small haul. It's not like big guys, it's not crazy. Um, I'll show you what I'm kind of talking about because I already showed these in a haul. I just didn't do anything with them. Like this one is, this one's a hot fix, I know that, but you can still use that on your nails, it's perfectly fine. Um, but these are like the regular ones. And I got all these at Michael's a little bit ago. They had like a crazy sale, but I think it was like, it was a clearance, but they like literally got rid of all their Swarovskis and then they have like a new different type of crystal in. Because as you guys remember Swarovski, I don't, like they're not selling just to like, they're I think, really to the public, I think. I think they're kind of keeping it more for just like the jewelry and stuff. Don't quote me, I'm not 100%, but that's been going around for a while, so just said. So I got a few of these. It's not that crazy, guys. Like... trying to do that without it doing what just happened. So I got a couple. Um but guys like you can get like I think they were on originally these were okay $13.99 was for one of them and I got it for two dollars. You don't get a lot lot but like so I got a couple right so I want to show you guys all of them and while I show them to you we're going to like kind of do haul and put away organize at the same time. I got these little things from Sheen. I think they'll be fine. I got three of them. Because it's not a lot in each one, I didn't want to waste my big Michael containers on them, like the ones I use for pretty much all my other stuff. And I couldn't find the bigger ones from Shein any or yeah, from Shein, they're like all sold out. And also they would mix up a lot. So I think these will work perfect. And like they're pretty stable. Like they click nicely and they're easy to still get open. So got three of them hopefully I think that should be fine if not I can always order more I do have one of these that have flowers in them that came I could always like take them out and use that too if I only needed one it would probably be a better idea than just going to buy more because you go in there for one thing I come out with a cart full of things so that's what I'm going to set up and do right now sorry you guys shake because you're on the floor you're on my mat thing yeah so I'm going to do that um and then I'm like, oh, I just want to kind of do like a part of me wants to do a haul because I just like that drawer is driving me bonkers and I just want to go through all of it. I really want to show you guys what is in my cart too. Maybe depending on my time, maybe after that, I could squeeze that in there. But for now, guys, that's it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. It's a disaster that it looks like. Guys, I tried to open all these. They're so hard to open on camera. So, like, I'm just not even gonna bother. I'm pretty, though. Like, I don't know. I got, like, two. I'll do that later. Um, I thought... I don't know what I thought. There we go. A bit better. Um, I was thinking that I will just do a quick cart. Like, why, why not, right? Like, what's in my cart? My cart is not that crazy. Um, it's pretty functional for me right now um, at this like stage and at the second. Um, so I don't think I'll be changing much of that. I was thinking of putting my stamping plates in um, one of these containers, but now I feel like where I have my plates for now is good. I've been practicing stamping like a lot on the side and not so much on camera, I guess, because it's more like I have this thing about me where like when I get inspired or when I want to do something like it can be any time of the day or night and so I just come out and I just like tinker around like no word of lie it was like 1 30 in the morning and I was like oh, I want to see what this like that velvet is all about I haven't I haven't even messed with it yet so I was like let's just try a little heart and I kind of played with the design from there um the only thing like in all honesty all right I'm like holding you guys maybe I should move you like out of my face um, like, I don't know. I tried, like, this little swirl thing, which I like. I'm just gonna put you guys down for one second. Alright, that's better. <laughs> I was making you guys shake, I do apologize. So, like, this little swirl thing, I think that's kind of neat. Like, I like the way that turned out. Like, that was something just, I don't know, just trying different things. The stamping turned out alright. That's the KDS stamping. Um, 
polish. Sorry, I had a brain freeze. These are the Red Siam um, BDD crystals. Now, I haven't even showed you guys them yet. Um, it's like I almost have the whole collection and I want to do it like one big to show you all of them. And I already have them potted so that way you can see the good quality. You can see the quality of everything. You already know that they come in the bag so it's no surprise um, there. But I think I have like five more to get. I just want to get them. Um, yeah, so I wanted to try this little velvet thing. You hear my tummy? I didn't eat lunch, so it's fine. I'll eat this eat dinner. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was trying like a side heart. That's where that was kind of going there. That's all right. Could have came down a little on that side or a little more over on that side, but not bad. And then I just tried to stamp these other ones with hearts. So like I said, guys, it's not like the craziest, but I did this just tinkering around like at 1.30 in the morning. So that's kind of like my point of... I get inspired at like weird hours and times and I, I practice kind of like just like on my own and I have to learn how to like get more on the camera and show you guys different things too but I wanted to test that out first and see now I'm gonna have to figure it out I think I'm just gonna have to bust out a set of Valentine's Day nails my, my, my time is like ticking because Valentine's Day is gonna be over in the shake of a lamp so um, it wasn't that crazy of a day, guys, for me. Um, my day plans were a little bit mixed up of where I thought I wanted to go, what I needed to do, and what actually happened in my day. Um, so, uh, But I am glad I got this one Swarovski video, kind of, what I needed with it. I'll figure how I'm going to edit that in that, because that's it's really just a small, short video. But maybe that's a good thing, too, because a lot of my hauls are crazy long, and this is just specific on something, so I kind of like that. This vlog is going to be probably silly because, let's be real, I ramble. Okay, but let's do it. Let's show, let's, let's see what's in my cart. Alright guys, so this is my cart. That is her. This is an Ikea cart. Um, if I had to pick between the Ikea and the Michaels one, all day long I would pick the Ikea. They're basically the same price and I just feel the Ikea one is a lot sturdier. It's like a better metal. And even the wheels are better on this one than the Michaels. I have the Michaels one. I have one for my all my makeup, um, which I got to organize that. But I'm waiting for some stuff from Sheen. Anyways, let's get in here. So what we have here is all of my liquids. So I like to have my liquids in this because I don't have a lot of storage on my desk. And it's just, it's just too much. So this actually really helps me. So I just have my basics. My wipe solution that I have to fill acetone that I have to fill. My god, I should have filled this cart before I decided to show it. Guys, I did not prep for this at all, so this is kind of how it is. I apologize if it's messy or whatever, but like, I don't know. I just threw it in today. Some cuticle remover. Um, these little things I get from the dollar store, these containers, I do not recommend them. These lids always crack, but for now they're fine until I can get to my local place to get more of these guys. Anyways, I have my alcohol in one. I have, see this is cracked because like, if you show you, see right there, that was on my alcohol. But when I use this bubble solution, I usually take out the lid anyways, but bubble solution, which is just for making like kind of scaly nails, some hand lotion, cuticle oil, um, peppermint, peppermint cuticle oil. Um, this is the M Share. This is not the IBD, guys. I just used that bottle. Um, the M Share Clear. I don't know if you guys have ever used it. I got this from Ali. It is very, very runny. Um, it's not a builder gel. It's more like a thick top coat, in all honesty. So I put it in this because it was just easier. And I do like to keep it there because I do like it for small encapsulations of uh, decals. Um, if it's not a thick glitter, that also works really well. So it does come in handy. My little cleaning solution. And, okay. And all I do, guys, I just, like, leave it taped. Like, I just put two pieces of tape on it. She dusty, though. I told you guys, I didn't prep for that. Um, yeah, so. Then down here, I just have this little stuff I got, just in case, you know, you get a cut or something. It's always nice to have. So, um. It's, what is it, Infolab? 
It'll just help with the bleeding and stuff. It'll make your bleeding stop. Um, I just have a black and white in there. And then I think I have like, yeah, just like a really cute top coat. Over here, I have all of my brushes. So these are all just for... This one, actually, I have to label it. Because I just used... I had a blue one in there that was for my tools. But I just moved it over to stamping. So it's in my stamping drawer now. I'll have to label that black one for tools. Or that one's going to become a tool one. This is just little swatches that either I'm swatching on video for you guys and I just throw them in there because sometimes if you need one quick to show a different art, it comes in handy. Um, these little containers, you guys see me haul these all the time on Shein. I hauled a few more of them in a different Shein that I didn't show. Um, but these ones all came um, like burgundy red, which I don't mind. I was kind of liking to keep them all green and the mustard, but whatever, they come random. so. Um, what I have in here is I have all of my lint-free wipes. I have all my wipes that I use for stamping. And then this one is just like a random. It has my little vacuum and a few other little things. So sorry, guys. Um, and then a little cup. Um, a nail brush holder thing that I just got. I haven't even used it. But I like to use them when I'm doing art because I'm like a messy artist, I find. Like last night, I made a heck of a mess just stamping. Um, like my desk was everywhere, so I feel like having somewhere to put my brushes in rather than lay them down just works better for me. Um, <clears throat> I do apologize. This is just, I kind of, I cleaned that out last night because I was using, again, I was using all this stuff last night, so I didn't do much. I just kind of threw it back. Um, but usually I will have some, like, um, gel wipe solution in that to clean my brushes. And I have one, and then I just want another one, because I want to make one just for glitter brushes, and then one just for regular paint and gel brushes, because I just don't like mixing them even in a cleaning solution. I find glitter just sticks, so that will be my new plan, which I'll probably put a second one over here for that, and just, like, put glitter on it, <clears throat> so I know. Okay, and then here I just have, like, this little container. These I got from Dollar Tree. They're for desserts, but I'm telling you guys, these little things come in handy in the studio. So all I have for there, and it's just because I like to have it on hand, is these little lipstick applicators. So these work great for um, when you're stamping, for cleanup stamping. Like, I really, really like them. You can get them on Sheen. Um, I got these ones. They're like just the cheaper handles. Now, the cheaper handles are like a dollar. If you want the nicer handles, then you're gonna pay like two bucks for the same amount. Me, I don't care about that candle. I'm throwing it out. So give me the cheapest that I can get, right? Sorry, I'm just gonna wheel myself back. Okay, let's go down to the second one. Now in here, this works well for me and what I need for my space. So in here, I literally have all my 10 gram pots that I use for my glitters and stuff. I don't even know if I can like, see all those little pots? That's all that's in there. It's all brand new pots. Okay. Um, because I use them a lot, in all honesty. And then here is just photo props. So I just have a couple fake flowers, some little, like, little diamond crystal thingies. Like, just stuff I got from the dollar store. And for now, that works for me. I don't think this will stay here forever. Because I feel like I'm going to outgrow that little prop box. But right now, it's working, and I like that they can stand together. Now over here I have this little thing, I'll just quick talk about that first. This I got from the Dollar Tree, it's just like a faux leather piece of fabric. And what I like about that is I just either throw it on my desk when I don't want my desk to get like messy, but I think I'm going to convert it over to when I'm stamping and just have this on my desk. I don't know, I feel like it's just going to work well. Okay. Now, here is literally what it says. It's all trays. It's different um, trays either for glitter, for showing you guys crystals, um, just little plates. It does have that polish holder in there, but like that's really it, guys. It's just anything to do with like holding for crystals, glitter, any display stuff. So that one stays on top because I reach for that more often. And even like these little things here, that literally are these and I got these from the Dollar Tree again they're like in the dessert section you get a whole whack of them um, but they work really good to show showcase your crystals when you're doing hauls or just even when you're working put a little paint in it put whatever tickles your fans like these 
you could work for them and you get quite a bit so you could do half for painting which I probably should do that I should do half for like painting and then half for like showing crystals sorry guys I don't mean to shake you okay the bottom one is miscellaneous um I know I'm gonna have an issue doing this okay I did her and all that is in there, we have a brand new stamping head and palette, um, some finger holder thingies, and then I think this is more just paint stuff in all honesty. Like, these things are great. I use them all the time for myself when I do my own nails. Yeah, a couple paint holders. That is for my little hand rest. It's just a light thing. And then, yeah, the watercolor inks, little funnels. These are shoe covers. Um, like shoe booties, but what I did use them for, I actually use them for, we'll just skip down there. I'll put that back later. So, bottom one. I use that for this. This is dirty right now, my apologies, but... Sorry guys, yeah, it's for this little hand rest. I usually put it over this so this does not happen, but I used it, I don't know, filming or creating something and I wanted the white background and look, I got it dirty. Hopefully it'll come out in the wash. I just haven't washed it yet. And then this is exactly what it says. It's dirty cloth. So I like to wash all of my nail stuff separate. So it's just like my little cloths or like if I have my mask, anything like that. These little guys, like that will go in there when that time comes. One more. This is what it says is just foot wraps. And that's exactly what they are. They're just like plastic bags that go over your feet. And I use them for like, just really, really for myself in all honesty. But I like to use them when like, I just put lotion or whatever on my feet and I just put that bag around it. It's almost like a mask, I guess you would say, a foot mask. My Melody Susie Duster stays down here, and then this is for all of my practice. So, that there. so this is exactly practice stands and fingers, and that is everything that lives in her. And then this little box, I think I got this at um, Crazy Bins. In all honesty, what I think it really is, because it's so hard to open it, I put that little thing on it to open it. I think this is one of those display things. That's what I really think that is. Um, but I just use it for all my practice stuff. You can see one of those cups are in there with those little finger stands. And it just lives down there. So that's how that lives. And that usually just gets stuck right back down there too. So not that crazy. She lives like that. That works good for me. This one stays like that. I'll put that second one back up when I have two hands. And then the top one stays like this for now. Like I said, I think I really like the way that this functions. I don't know if this is going to stay as a random one, but I kind of like having these few things right there, like my little vacuum and stuff. So that's working well so far. Oh, and then here guys are those little cloths that I use. I just like to keep a couple right there on hand. I grab them, hands are sticky, put them on my lap. A couple dust brush, dust bust dust busters <laughs> dust brushes and then my can air which works wonders which is like empty and it's so hard to find that at the dollar store anymore um yeah but that's it that is my cart guys nothing too too crazy but that's how i organize and that's what works best for me right now all right guys i'm going to end the vlog here today thank you guys so much for hanging out with me i truly appreciate it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and everything that I had going on today it wasn't that crazy of a day, but plans change. Um, like I said, I had a different idea for the day, but hey, we just went with the flow, and that's what we do here. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know if there's anything you guys want to see, any different type of videos, styles, whatever's clever. Let me guys know. All right, guys. Bye.